The unprecedented raid on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home just shows just how broken and corrupt our justice system is. And today, AG Merrick Garland says he's seeking to unseal the search warrant, all the while defending the DOJ and FBI in an attempt to preserve the left's power and control over the American people. But this raid has exposed lots of dirty little secrets about records from other administrations and the lengths they go to hide them. Trump is accused of violating the Presidential Records Act that Congress enacted in 1978 after former President Nixon claimed his secret Oval Office tapes and other records were his personal property, later tweaked by George W. in 2001. But the Nixon Library didn't release the last of his secret tapes until 2013, 39 years after Nixon left office. And get this, Barack Obama repeatedly invoked this act to delay the release of thousands of pages of records from none other than Bill Clinton. And folks, this one takes the cake. When Obama left the White House, he reportedly trucked 30 million pages of his administration's records to Chicago, promising to digitize them. But according to the National Archives, he never did. They say to date, zero pages have been digitized and disclosed, zero. I mean, talk about double standards. Why no raid on his house? I don't see anybody going through Michelle Obama's closet, do you? Let's bring in Arizona gubernatorial candidate, Carrie Lake. Welcome to the show, Carrie. Uh, it won't be long before we're calling you Governor Lake. Uh, congratulations to you. So glad to have you back here after your massive win in Arizona. Thank you, Jen. It's good to be back. And um, I wish it were under different circumstances and we were talking about something else. But again, the federal government has just become so corrupt. And this is really, they've, they've taken a, a step way too far in the wrong direction now. Well, I know that you have called uh, in a recent interview for the dismantling of the FBI as a result of, of this. Talk to us about that. You know, all, all I will say is that this shows that our, our federal government is corrupt to the core, that they're doing this. This is the kind of stuff you see in a banana republic. I mean, I think the El Salvador president had a great quote today when he said, or maybe it was yesterday, when he said, what would the United States have done if we did this in El Salvador? They probably would have invaded. I mean, this is outrageous that the government, the federal government that we the people created has now turned on we the people. And we're not gonna let this continue to happen. I think that this ruling in the Supreme Court last session uh, where they it was, I think it was EPA versus West Virginia, cracked open the door to start going after and pushing back against these agencies that are not run by elected officials. They're run by bureaucrats who are trying to destroy our lives or make our lives more difficult. And it's going to take the states to step forward and say enough is enough. And we intend to do that here in Arizona. Well, Carrie, I want to ask you, as somebody, obviously, who's spent years in, in the media, uh, the reaction that you just gave me uh, is something that I can see being clipped by another news network and placed in a montage talking about how those of us on the right jump to conclusions over what's happening. Uh, obviously, a lot of people are concerned, but then you've got the, the legacy media uh, not wanting to call this a raid, downplaying what's going on. Uh, what's your reaction to the media coverage that we're seeing uh, of this, this raid, this unprecedented raid on the president's home? We're not jumping to any conclusions. We have been watching for six, seven years as the mainstream media, the federal government, these rotten agencies have been on an attack against President Trump, trying to stop him, trying to slow him down because he's not part of their corrupt system. And we're tired of watching this witch hunt. If they can go after him, they can go after any one of us. And I will tell them, since this raid happened, my phone's been ringing off the hook with people who want to get involved in our campaign, people who want to donate to our campaign, people who are motivated like they've never been motivated before to get involved in politics and stop this corrupt federal government. Carrie, I want to ask you about this because uh, yesterday we had uh, senior Trump advisor Kimberly Guilfoyle on the program, and she said uh, the raid was disturbing for a lot of reasons, of course, but especially because of this. Take a listen. While they were there, they didn't allow anybody to supervise what they were doing, and they specifically requested to turn off the security cameras. Why? Because they didn't want to be caught with what they were doing? How do you know there weren't listening devices planted or evidence planted there? Would you put it past the FBI, Carrie, uh, that they maybe planted evidence, maybe planted listening devices uh, that Kimberly speculated? No, I wouldn't put it past any of them. I mean, we've seen the corruption at the FBI from McCabe and Strzok and, and Lisa Page on down. We've seen the corruption now over the last several years. It probably goes back even longer than that. But, but 
we Americans are ready to take our federal government back. We don't want the federal government turning on people. We want them working on ending the corruption. And we have a, a, a basically a justice system where there is no justice. It only goes one way. You never see the crimes against the left or the establishment being pursued. It's only against patriots like President Trump. And, and this is why the American people are fed up. And I think that we're going to see this at the ballot box come November. I think this will ensure a red tsunami like they've never seen before because Americans are fed up. They want their government back. They want to stop being a victim of the government. And, and look what happened this week. Nearly 90,000 new federal uh, IRS agents armed. You know, here we are as Americans struggling, Jen. We're struggling. People can't afford to put mm -hmm. food on the table. And what is the federal government's answer? To raise taxes against people and then send out armed IRS agents to try to audit people. It's disgusting. And the people of this great country are tired of it. Well, Carrie Lake, you know, obviously the American people, they know who is out there fighting for them. You are one of those individuals. Uh, hence that massive win, a clean sweep in the great state of Arizona. Carrie Lake, always such a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate it. J.P. Morgan CEO is warning that an economic hurricane is coming. Are you preparing? If you don't do anything, your 401k could be a 201k, and that is not good. So call our trusted friends at Lear Capital. For 25 years, Lear has helped investors own gold to protect against market chaos. It's a good thing. They can help you, too. Get your information and up to $15,000 in bonus IRA gold. Just call this number, 800-880-4300. That's 800-880-4300. 